Yo, what's going on, Four One Three? Here back in today, and today we are here for March DLC Clue Thread. If you guys aren't familiar, every Friday before the next DLC comes out, Forza actually goes ahead and posts a set of clues for the upcoming cars for the next month. So anyway, then let's go ahead and hop on into clue number one. Now, clue number one is simply this. It was actually a link to a YouTube video with a quote from the movie. Uh, well, not a quote, but a little bit of a clip from the movie, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, it's actually a movie about two kids who have to write a book report or have to write a history report or something like that, and they go back in time to find characters from ancient, from history, and just, yeah, they, it, it's kind of a funny movie. It, a lot of people call it the best comedy movie of all time. Uh, I don't know about that. But anyway, though, the quote is simply this. And it goes, 69, dudes! That, that, that's all it is. That's the whole clue. It's very generic. And it really doesn't give us a whole lot to work on. But there are a couple of different options, or a few different options, that I think that this could actually be. The first one being, it's simply going to be a car from 1969. Uh, specifically, probably an American muscle car, as 1969 was actually just the year of muscle cars. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be American. Uh, it also could be the Holden Monaro GTS, which a lot of people have been saying would be a great car to add into this game. And especially with it being an Australian car, I could see that going over fairly well. So, but then we have another option, which is going to be a 1969 Chevy van. Now, the reason why I say this is because I guess I was reading this that apparently the actual time machine that was originally going to be used for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure was going to be a Chevy van, not a phone booth, which is just a copy off of Doctor Who, because they were afraid of copying off of Back to the Future, which was being filmed right around the same time. So that, that's another option right there. Now, the third option, though, is with it being a movie about time travel, we don't necessarily have to go back in time but we could go forward in time to the year 2069 and get the Chrysler Rocket 69, which is actually a car from the Fallout franchise. Now, they actually added this car into Forza Motorsport 6, and if you guys have played Fallout, it's that red car that's got, like, the bubble top. Looks almost kind of futuristic sporty, but it's also, like, 50s era, which that really sort of explains every car <laughs> that you see scattered throughout the wasteland. But I think that that could be an option, a potential option. But I don't think it's going to be the actual car. I think we're leading more towards that Holden Monaro GTS. Uh, but none of the cars that were actually in that leak uh, actually were from 1969, except for the Lola T70. But we already have the Lola T70. Holy shit, that Gurkha just... Holy shit. Get out of the way. Come on, buddy. There we go. So... But as I was saying, though, I think it's going to lean more towards being an American muscle car. But I'm not entirely sure on this one. That first clue really stumped me. Now we go into our second clue, which actually it says that there are two clue twos. But I think actually one of them is supposed to be clue number three. But it could possibly be even another clue. And that is that the clue says this, though. You could get it with a diesel, but that would just be way too practical. So there's actually three options again for this one. And the first one I think it's going to be is it's going to be the Volvo 242 Evolution. Oh my god, Anna, shut the actual hell up. Alright, but the reason why I think this is because the Volvo 240 actually came in a diesel option. And, of course, Volvo being an extremely practical car brand and extremely safe, you know, basically a tank. You know, the only other thing that can possibly damage a Volvo is going to be a Nokia cell phone. Um, you know, I... I feel like that is probably going to be the car that we're actually going to get is we're going to see the Volvo 242 Evolution, which has been leaked to be coming into the game. Now, the other option is going to be the Land Rover Range Rover Series 3. Again, another highly practical car, although it does seem to fall apart a lot, uh, you know, that came with the diesel option. So, especially if you're going off-road or if you live in the UK and you need to go out to your field or whatever. Although, I guess in modern UK, there, there's really not a whole lot of fields except for in the northern area, uh, if I'm correct. I, I have never actually been to the UK, but if I believe, if I think I'm correct on that, I believe the northern part of the UK is a lot more farmland, uh, a little bit more rural. Uh, so, I, I'm not entirely sure on that, though. 
but it was it was definitely considered to be a highly practical car as most Range Rovers are and they also look gorgeous so the final option though is actually going to be something that's sort of like a more of like what I think Forrest would actually do for a clue and that is that's going to be Dom's Charger E49 and the reason why I think this is I think it's going to be this because of course who plays Dom none other than Vin Diesel you know they put Diesel in there uh, to sort of like throw us off a little bit but if you think about it the actor who plays Dom is going to be Vin Diesel and of course Dom's Charger has also been leaked to be coming into the Forza Horizon 3 game so that, that's just another possibility right there uh, and that really falls more in line with what Forza normally does with these clues so let me go on to what actually should be clue number three but it's actually clue number two it says clue two which I actually think one of the reasons why there might be two clues or two clue number twos is simply because the fact that you know Fast and the Furious you could have two Fast and Furious or it could be like 242 because there's actually no clue number four they all say clue number three or clue number two then there's clue five six seven and one but there's no clue four which I find kind of interesting which also leads again to you know the Volvo 242 instead so then we go on to actually what is supposed to be clue number three and that is this John F. Kennedy said, celebrate the past to awaken the future. How you celebrate, though, is up to you. Now, again, this has three cars as an option, once again, as the last two. And the first one is going to be the 2013 Dodge Dart. Now, the reason why I think this is because the 2013 Dodge Dart has, of course, been leaked into the game. Or, or has been leaked to be coming into the game. And it was supposed to play homage to, you know, the classic Dart, which is absolutely a phenomenal car. Or actually an absolutely phenomenal car it sounded like I said absolutely <laughs> that would be a great great urban dictionary word absolutely absolutely terrible there we go that's your definition but that's actually not what the dart is the dart is of course a very good car and in fact probably one of the best cars in this game especially if you're into drag racing and that is because it's just way overpowered it, it just goes way too fast so that is going to be a potential option right there. Although the 2013 Dodge Dart was absolutely a terrible car, being front wheel drive and slow and just absolutely awful. And then Dodge said, you know, hey, we're going to make this car better. We're going to give an SRT version and then never did it. So that made me mad because it was supposed to be coming out in like December 2016. Uh, I'm still holding out. I don't think they're going to do it, though, because I also heard a rumor that they were going to do it in December 2017 instead. But... We'll, we'll see we'll see because i absolutely want to love and see a 2017 dodge dart i think that would just be absolutely phenomenal just absolutely fantastic so then there's another option which is going to be a lincoln continental and the reason why i say this is we'll either see the classic one because you know jfk or we'll see the newer one which has a very amazing concept going on right now and the reason why i think that we might see this is because you know of course, JFK was shot in a Lincoln Continental. Sorry, I could not think about it for a second. Uh, so I think that's why we might be possibly seeing it. However, though, the Lincoln Continental was not leaked to be coming to Forza Horizon 3. Now, the final version, final car, is going to be the 1932 Ford Deluxe Coupe. And the reason why I say this is because in order to celebrate the past, if you take a car from the past and you make it into your own car here in the future, like a hot rod, which the 1932 Ford Deluxe Coupe is a common hot rodded car, I could see that for this clue, as well as another clue, which I will get into later on. So now let's go ahead and hop onto what should be clue number four, but it actually says clue number three. And that is going to be this. No one really knows what happened to them, and that was not only a problem, but a darn shame. This sounds kind of like a quote from Jeremy Clarkson, something Jeremy Clarkson would say. But I don't really understand, I, I don't think there actually is a quote where he actually said this. It just sounds like something that he would say in, in my head. And what I think this might be referenced to is those old detective shows where, in his words, you know, a, a nice man walks, breaks down a hotel door, punches a swarthy looking man in the fez, and then takes it home, and then goes to bed with a pretty lady. 
And the reason why I think that this is going to be important is I think that the car that we're going to be getting is it's going to be the Jensen Interceptor. Which, of course, if you guys remember from that episode of Top Gear, they made the title sequence to their version of one of those old detective shows, which would have been The Interceptors. Where Richard Hammond kicked a girl in the kicked a girl in the crotch. Yep. Yep, that that happened. I don't know why, and then he was karate chopping people. Uh, it, it was a great episode, though. I love that episode. Love to watch it. it. It was a pretty good one. So now let's go on to what is actually clue number five and says clue number five. And that is going to be, you might say finally, but you should just be thankful. And I think that we're actually going to have two options on this one. One, and really, it's going to be cars that have been highly requested from the Forza community. The first one is the four or Ferrari F50 GT. Wow, I am off today. I don't know why. And then the second option is going to be the Zenvo ST1. Both cars that are extremely popular and people want to see come back to Forza. Although I actually don't think this... Was the Zenvo ST1 actually in a Forza game? I'm not entirely sure on that. Not entirely sure. But it's definitely a highly requested car. And if it's not one of these two, then it's going to be another car that has been highly requested in the past. Uh, so we will actually see. Uh, someone suggested possibly being that old Le Mans Nissan GTR from like 1992, which was also leaked to be coming into the game. Uh, however, though, I don't feel like that's actually going to be an option. Just a uh, sort of a note right there. So now we move on to clue number six, which is you know they had to be cool since they were being sold for a loss. Now, there's only two cars that I actually know that were sold for a loss, and one is the Bugatti Veyron. The other being the Lexus LFA. But we have both of those cars already. So after doing a little bit of quick research, I found that the BMW 507 was actually sold for a loss back in the day. So that's really what I think that one is going to be. And of course, that car was also leaked uh, along with those other ones. So I definitely feel like this is going to be the car that we're going to be receiving. Then finally, we move on to clue number seven, which is just crank it up, dude. Now, I was unfamiliar with this, but I kept reading through the forum, and there were a couple of different things that were popping up fairly constantly. And one was the AMC Pacer. I don't know why everyone was saying the AMC Pacer. I know it's been leaked into the game, but I just don't understand why it wasn't. There were some people that were saying, well, it's obviously the AMC Pacer. And I was thinking, maybe it's a Wayne's World reference, because maybe I could see them saying, crank it up, dude, or something like that in that movie, uh, as they also drove an AMC Pacer. But I could not find any information about that being a quote from that movie. So I, I, I have no idea. If you guys actually know, leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Let me know what that actually is. And then finally, the other option for this one is going to be, again, the 1932 Ford Deluxe Coupe. And the reason why I say this is because it had a very unique crankshaft for the time. Uh, and the crankshaft that they used was actually off of a truck. But they found that using this truck's crankshaft actually allowed the car to ride smoother than it did using a conventional one. And it was sort of a revolutionary idea at the time to take parts off of a bigger vehicle and put them on a smaller four-cylinder vehicle. So those are really the options that I think are going to be seen in this upcoming DLC clue pack or car pack. If you guys have any suggestions or ideas, leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about each clue. Uh, and what you guys think are possibly they are possibly going to be. Anyway, though, let's, that's where we're going to go and wrap it up for today. If you guys like the video, go make sure to hit the like button down below for us. Because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. Make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.